DIY, DIY Friday. Friday. Yes, <laughs> finally in sync, and it only took three years. Um, <laughs> guys, so today we are making a really cool DIY. We are going to be making a DIY natural face peel. Um, this is going to be really beneficial for those of you who have acne prone skin or like super oily skin like I do. Um, so it's going to be really awesome. But first, Nora's going to tell you about the giveaway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, we're going to give away a Skin & Co. Ready? Truffle cleansing oil. Oh my god. Are there like real truffles in there? I don't know. I don't want to open it to smell it, obviously, but yeah. What a cool cleanser, you guys. I know. I'm so excited about this. You guys have to let us know how it is when you win it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, some of the ingredients for today's DIY is a little bit of honey, a little bit of lemon juice, and some aspirin. Nora, Ooh. why are we going to use aspirin? Because aspirin has salicylic acid in there. Did you know that? I did not know that. <laughs> and salicylic acid, as you guys know, is basically in like majority of acne products okay. that you use. Yeah, that I did know. Yeah, so anytime you want, you're at the drugstore and you're like, okay, I have acne. I need an acne face wash. I need uh, something for my acne. Yeah. Always check if there is glycolic acid or salicylic acid in there because those are what helps um, unclog your pores because when you have clogged pores missy that's how you get acne it's um, true. i'm not going to be doing the peel today i'm just not wearing makeup for ani no <laughs> so if you're pregnant maybe just sit this one out um, only because you're not allowed to use salicylic acid yes. um, while you're pregnant but if you're not pregnant let's do this peel let's do it the first thing we're going to do is take two aspirins if you feel like two is too much you can totally do one and we are going to crush it up and let it dissolve in a little bit of water. Um, I actually didn't really super measure the water. I would say a little less than, a little less than a fourth of a cup. Yeah, it's not a lot of water. Very little water. Okay, so um, if you don't wanna crush it up, you can also just let it dissolve in the water, but since we crushed it. We ain't got time for that. We are going to just, there we go. Mix it in with our water. Now we have our second bowl of water, which has equal amount of water as our first one, and we are going to be adding some honey to it. I would say um, add about two to three. Yeah, because it's a peel. Teaspoons, and if you want it to be thicker, you can add more honey. You're living on the edge today. I'm living on the edge, <laughs> and I'm going to mix this up with our water, and then we are going to. Add mixture. Mix it all together. Okay. All right, our mixture is mixed up pretty well. We are going to be taking some lemon. If you have a whole lemon, just squeeze. I would say cut it in half and just squeeze it. We are going to just do a dab of lemon here and mix this back up again. And then we're gonna add this to our aspirin mixture. Just dump it all in there, Nora. I'm doing that. There's probably some aspirin left over in the bowl, so make sure you get that all in there. I am. Okay. So this mixture is still a little watery. What we're gonna do is add a little bit more honey to really thicken it up. Okay, we are gonna take some cotton balls. Here, let me do it to you. Okay. So you don't need to put this all over your face, you guys. Um, you could put it in on your problem areas or you could do it all over your face. Which do you prefer? I actually tend to just kind of like be super yeah, oily over that. here and my chin. I, I, I see your problem areas. You have none, boo. You have none. You're perfect. Oh but let's just get a few spots here. I just think I is. <laughs> <laughs> and what you're going to do is you're going to leave this natural peel on your face for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's okay if it stings just a little bit, that's totally normal, so don't freak out if that happens. And after you leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes, just go ahead and rinse it off with some warm water. You tend to break up, break out in this area always. All every the time. time. Yeah, why? It's just hormonal, hormonal right? Yeah. It's so interesting. Have you seen those graphs that people talk about where like you break out, you break out what it means, like the food you eat or um, everywhere is like specific. Very specific, yeah. some of it. Okay, let's get that one right there. Okay, cool. Okay, 
so I'm gonna let this sit on my face for 15 minutes and then rinse it off. Okay. Bye bye, <laughs> acne. I already feel like I have smaller pores and clearer skin. <laughs> um, no joke though, I left it on for 15 minutes and I rinsed it off and my, my skin feels tighter actually. That's another thing yeah. of um, aspirin, the benefits of using aspirin in here and salicylic acid is that it does tighten your skin yeah. up. Um, use this, uh, don't use it every single day you guys because it might be too harsh for your skin. So I would say around like once or twice a week Okay. Um, if you actually wanna see a difference. And yeah, that's that. And if you want to win our giveaway, you guys, the truffle oil, oh my the God, cleansing so oil, um, leave some comments below. You know how we like it. Suggestions for upcoming DIYs. We get them from you guys. And you have to be subscribed to our channel and like our video. Yay! See you next time. Bye, guys.